Hi, I'm Diana Gordon, Education and Outreach Coordinator at the Oregon National Primate Research Center. Over 3,000 people visit our center each year, mostly from the state of Oregon, but also from other states and even other countries as well. For those of you who are unable to visit us in person, we hope that this video will provide you with a good overview of the role our center plays in the search for preventions, cures, and improved treatments for people and animals. And our mission is, as a group and as individual centers, to provide animal models that can improve human health by serving as models for human disease. My lab has been working on HIV research and vaccines primarily for more than the last 25 years. We've been actively pursuing ways to understand how the human immune response and the monkey immune response can control the virus. And our particular interest is also in mother-to-child transmission. We're really trying to understand how we can repair the brain in patients who have had attacks of multiple sclerosis, have a lot of impairment. How can we get the brain to repair itself? That's one of the key focuses of the lab. In addition to hearing from our many scientists, we also invite visitors to view our animals living in their uniquely constructed habitats built to encourage animal behaviors that are found in the wild. For example, the enclosures that you are looking at right now are what we call outdoor sheltered housing. These areas feature three separate living areas for the animals. Each room contains place structures and a variety of locations for animals to perch. In the wintertime, the floors are heated and misters cool the animals on hot summer days. In addition, swimming pools may be brought in during the summer so that the animals can swim. In the springtime, you will often spot newborns in close contact with their mothers in these housing areas. The next stop on our video tour is the Japanese macaque corral. The ancestors of these animals came to the primate center in 1965 as a gift from the Japanese government. They are often referred to as snow monkeys because they are adapted for life in cold weather climates and enjoy playing in the occasional snow we receive here at the center. For the most part, these animals are involved in observational studies meaning that researchers gain their data by observing the animals from an observation tower that overlooks this two-acre corral. You should also note that this corral is filled with play structures designed and built by animal caretakers at the Primate Center. Let's listen to the director of the Primate Center's Behavioral Services Unit, Dr. Christine Coleman, as she tells us more about these animals and the work she and her staff do to promote their psychological well-being. This group was the subject of a lot of groundbreaking behavioral work in the 1970s and 80s, and a lot of what we know about the effects of various hormones on behavior was learned from this troop. The Behavioral Services Unit is a unit that's responsible for overseeing the emotional and psychological needs of the monkeys at the center. Our main goal is to reduce stress and improve well-being for the monkeys here. And to do this, we provide the monkeys with opportunities to engage in normal behaviors, behaviors they would do in the wild. And we also give them opportunities to exercise control and choice. If you would like more information about how to join a public tour, please visit the web address on your screen. There you can find information about individual research projects here at the center, more information about animal care, and also about outreach programs. Thank you very much.